as you progress in life and you do earn a bit more money or get a better role, yeah. I think a lot of people do start to realize that isn't happiness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. well, this is the thing and, and your language matters. <laughs> like a lot of people want to oversimplify, like, oh, I'm just expressing myself and start. No, you're actually expressing the way you think. So mm. here's an example. So I really enjoy, you know, mixed martial arts and yep. I spend a lot of time doing jujitsu. And a lot of people will simplify their journey into like, oh, I want to get a, you know, a white belt. And I want to get my stripes. My stripes, I want my blue belt. I want my purple belt. I want my whatever. Yeah. Right. And so, um, yeah, for me, so I, I, yeah, I just got my purple belt. But leading up to that process, and my goal for the year prior to that right, was to be deserving of. Right. To be deserving of. Yes. So the goal isn't to achieve this because that's some like, uh, you know, uh, in some regards, almost like an archaic kind of, yeah. you know, measurement of competency, <laughs> right? But when we say like, yeah, deserving of, right? It's like, well, in order to, to be deserving of, like, what would you do? Well, you'd have consistent training, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, you'd, have, you'd be proficient at these, you know, things, yeah, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, right? And by defining things that way, it's like, I'm I'm not saying that I'm less than, I'm saying that I'm striving. Yeah. You know, like, I want to be deserving of, as opposed to like, I want this. You're also defining the traits to yourself that are required to actually truly say, I'm deserving of this. Yes, it's like, not yeah. like, I'm yeah. going to get it. You're also telling yourself in language, you say subconsciously, to yeah. be deserving of, I need to demonstrate all these attributes. Yeah.